But uh, I thought I'd do this. Uh, at the end of Upton weekend, uh, on Monday, uh, the Bumpton men will be dancing to this tune, the Rose Tree. And uh, it's a very uh, to stop your tickling jobs if you think about it. Stop <laughs> By the margin of the ocean. One pleasant evening in the month of June, when all those feathered songsters, a liquid nose did sweetly tune. It was there I spied a female on her features signs of woe, conversing with Napoleon concerning the bonny bunch of roses. Then up spake young Napoleon, <coughs> he took his mother by the hand, saying, Mother dear, be patient, until I'm able to take command, for I'll raise a terrible army, and through tremendous dangers go, and in spite of all the universe, I will capture the body of a job of roses. Oh, son, be not too venturesome, for England has the heart of oak, and England, Ireland, Scotland, their unity will ne'er be broke. Remember your brave father in St. Helene, here lie low. And you may follow after. So beware of the body of oh, John Rosenstein. Well, he took 300,000 men, and kings likewise to bear his train. And he was so well provided for that he could sweep the whole world for gain. Ah, but when he got to Moscow, he was overpowered by sleet and snow, and with Moscow all the blaze sing. Well, he lost the body by John Rose's Oh, mother dear, farewell forever, for now I'm on my dying bed. If I'd lived, I'd been more clever. And now I droop my youthful head and as me bones lie mouldering and weeping willows o'er me flow well the deeds of young Napoleon will enshrine the bonny bunch of roses